Peace. Get healthy with your boy. All right. I'm going to just come and just address this real quick. Okay. So I want y'all to watch this and share this video because this needs to be said. Okay. All right. The alkaline community is a toxic cult. All right. One more time. The alkaline community is a toxic cult. All right. That's all it is. Okay. 10 times out of 10, when somebody want to transition to a healthier lifestyle, right? All we do is discourage them with this list of alkaline foods. Like it's the only list that got every single alkaline food on it in the whole world. That's all we do. And then tell them, well, you can't eat this. Don't eat this. Don't eat this. Don't eat this. Because it ain't on the nutritional guide. It ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? No. I guarantee you, we is not doing what Dr. Sieben envisioned. Dr. Sieben never said he was the greatest one. He never said that his list has every single alkaline food on it in the whole world. He never said that. Some of the fruits we got out here, not even on the list, but we created this whole little group where you got star fruit, you got uh, dragon fruit, you got rambutan, you got all these other fruits on there, kiwi, that's not even on the guy, but you ask somebody, they say, no, that, 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 that ain't, that's, that's acid, that ain't alkaline, that ain't alkaline. How you know? How do you know that? Okay, well, Dr. CB said, I don't watch damn near every CB video. It, damn near everyone. I ain't never heard him say that. So we did that shit. We created this toxic narrative that people put on CB name because we the one that took it and said, no, nah, this alkaline, that ain't alkaline. Being plate police. People can't even post a plate on the social media because here come a so-called alkaline person commenting on they, that ain't alkaline. That ain't this. That ain't this. Don't nobody give a fuck. All right? So what? You running people away from the healthy community shit. You must be bringing people to it. But all you do is, all we doing, listen, when it came, when this, when this uh, diet first hit the wave, they say, you know, you go alkaline, yeah, it's going to bring more peace to you. It's going to bring, you know, that drama ain't going to be there. You ain't going to want none of that, you know, that toxicity. You know, get that toxicity up out of you. Detox that toxicity up out of you. That's what, that what, that what they told me. You know what I mean? So why the fuck we sitting around eating fruit and salads still gossiping? We can sit around the motherfucker and eat goddamn chicken wings and, 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 and celery and ranch. And we're going to do that. I'm just saying. Is the shit going to bring the peace or not? Which one is it? See what I'm saying? So, no. So, and, and then I got to say this. I want to apologize to everybody that follow me. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. For, for, for giving you premature misleading information. All right? I'm coming back to you today to get to you 100. Get to you the right way. How I believe CB intended for it to be. Because he only said, we're going to do the food that's least detrimental to our health. That's what he said. We want to do the food that's least detrimental to our health. We want to do our own research. We want to do our own field research is what he said specifically. All right? So I know that People who in this community did not do no type of research. They just went with what CB said. How I know that? I went and got the test done. I went and got the test done. You know what? And the, it's this right here. This is broccoli. This is key lime. Key lime is on the nutritional guide. Broccoli is not. So I went in and I posted a video of a dude lighting a lamp with key lime juice and water. But a potato can light a light bulb too. So if a key lime can light a light bulb off its juice and it's got electricity to it, if a potato light a light bulb, it got some electricity to it. It wouldn't light it if it did. Okay? 
So I'm looking, I'm like, okay, well, let's get key lime tested. What's the pH of key lime in the natural state? Okay, here we go. Key lime. You see it? Key lime. pH level for key lime? 3.36. Now, I know y'all smart. You know damn well that's acid. Okay? Then we got broccoli right here. Let me show you broccoli. Here go broccoli. They go broccoli. Now, here we go. What is broccoli pH? 5.82. So wait a damn minute. Hold up. You telling me broccoli? Key lime is more acidic than broccoli? I'm looking right at it. I'm looking at it. So wait a minute. Some ain't right. Some ain't right. Somebody didn't. Some ain't right then nobody go do no type of research to make the claim. And this ain't no hit on CB or nothing. I fuck with them. I fuck with them. I just think we got the whole thing wrong. This is not what he wanted. All right? He didn't want a bunch of fruitarians thinking they better than the alkaline people because they eat cooked food. Or he didn't want the alkaline people think they better because they eat they don't eat meat. Or he didn't want the vegetarian think they better because they don't no, we the one creating all this bullshit divide. We creating that shit. We think because we only been eating healthy for three months, six months, one year, five years, ten years. You think you been eating healthy. You better than that. You just start eating fucking healthy. Now all of a sudden you better than somebody else because they don't. You, you 30, 40 years old. You've been doing unhealthy shit for 25, 30 fucking years. But one month or one year on healthy shit, now you better. No, you not. You still full of that same bullshit. From, you got 20-some, 30-some, 40-some years of bullshit built up in your body. How are you the healthiest motherfucker because you've been eating healthy for one year? Stop. Stop it. Okay? Just because you eat fruit, because you breathe air, you're breatharian. All this shit got the same intent. We want to be healthier. That's it. That's that's all. This ain't this shit ain't about no sitting back or uh, talking about the person because they do. I thought this alkaline shit supposed to bring some type of non-toxic environment. That's what I thought. But that's, that, that's not what it do. It's too many people that we consider leaders that do too much toxic stuff and be on this alkaline lifestyle or this fruitarian lifestyle. We're supposed to be bringing people in. So we shouldn't be telling them what they doing wrong all the time. No, I want to give you your space and your time to transition at your pace. So I don't discourage you with all this banter back and forth. That's how it's supposed to be. No. So so um, the alkaline community is toxic. The alkaline culture is toxic. Okay? It's toxic and we got to get out of it. Okay? We got all thing we're doing is we eat plant-based. We eat plant-based. That's it. All right? We eat plant-based. That's it, man. You know what I mean? All that other shit, man, shit in the trash can. You know what I mean? Straight up. Straight up. So I had to just come and say that. You know what I mean? Had to come and say that because it got to be said. It's too much, you know, garbage going on. All right? Too much garbage going on and it needs to be said. All right? So that's it. All right? Uh, make sure y'all share this video. It need to be said. All right? People need to see it. All right? And holler back at your boy. Peace.